people welcome back to yard and abroad tv please remember to hit the subscribe button turn on post notification like comment share and subscribe as i said if you're not familiar with this channel we talk about issues in jamaica the caribbean and the whole world people welcome back to my channel viewers and subscribers thank you once again for tuning in so news coming out of jamaica people is that 50 year old robert fowler has been charged with the killing of canice jackson people yes you heard that correctly he has finally been charged um today police also reveal that the man accused of the brutal murder of canice jackson could also face additional charges so yes people they're saying robert fowler could face additional charges on top of what he has been charged for already people it goes on to say people i'm getting this from nationwide news in a media conference the police gave the latest on the investigation in the murder of 20 year old accounting clerk canice jackson which has sparked national outrage the police this afternoon charged 50-year-old mechanic Robert Fowler with the gruesome killing. And the leadership of the Jamaica Constabular Force, JCF, is reporting that Fowler could face additional charges. In a statement this afternoon, the JCF confirmed that it has made a major breakthrough in the case which has rocked the nation. The deputy police commissioner in charge of crime is Fitz Bailey. Mr. Bailey says Fowler is believed to have sexually assaulted Miss Jackson and could face more charges. Mr. Bailey says during a caution statement, Fowler, who's otherwise known as Bakra, admitted he murdered Miss Jackson. According to Bailey, Fowler carried the police to another location as they intensified their probe into the murder of the 20 year old and the deputy police commissioner in charge of crime says following the thorough police investigation robert fowler will soon be put before a court of law to answer to the vicious crime and mr bailey is commending investigators from the jcf who participated in the investigation into the murder of canis jackson so yeah people you heard it right here that he will possible face additional charges as well people and listen a jungle justice he's supposed to get in a people like him shouldn't even go before a court may i tell you make the streets handle him Jano, rape this poor young girl and kill her sad 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 situation people and what i'm going to do also now people i'm going to play you a video from the jamaica gleaner where um kenny's jackson's boyfriend was talking about her and talking about how he was you know telling her not to take certain vehicles and just be aware of your surrounding cause you have to always have your guard up always have a guard up all the time because as he said he know how jamaica can be rough at times you see me people so just check out the video people and leave your comments and um we can have a discussion about it and talk about this people like we don't want to ever hear something like this happen to another young girl or happen to anybody at all people this has to be the final straw right here people you see me once again my condolences goes out to kenny's jackson's family um from yard and abroad tv people much love and appreciation big up in yourself all right bless up this is how i want to make a term of this four years and all can you know if i tell you this the 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 the, the, the things that we go through it will be unbelievable you literally cry you could listen to me for hours i have so much things i can tell you about canis so much good memories you'll be unbelievable she was a living angel jamaica i can tell you that there's no hiding or going around that canis was our living angel that is god blessing to me her mom her family everybody who should touch that was a blessing from god and sometimes god takes what is dangerous and just so unfortunate that she had to go like this but please i don't want jamaica to paint in canis in any image 
we, the family, and many people around her know who she was. She was a sweet, innocent, honest, nice, caring, passionate. Even if she, even if you don't like her, she can find a way to still help. That's what she is, and she's not doing it in an aggressive way. She's doing it in a way that she knows she eventually just can you know? Anybody who wants to say that she was this type of person or that, them don't know her. They don't know her. She's just, she's just like her mother. Her mother don't, most of the time, you have to wonder if she, she live here. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, if you don't come to get something from her, you see her walking down the aisle out here and you stop and talk. Because she don't run for all about no. from yard to yard. No, she don't, no, do no, don't do that. And she cut, just like we, our mother, she, she, she's even more reserved than our mother. And our mother is very reserved. Mm -hmm. You understand? You can only say good things about her. Good things about her. Nothing bad. Connie is interested enough you know, in the past. And Connie used to talk about um, what would happen if one of us died. And I told her, and I told her, um, I told her, I'm diabetic and I have type 1. I said, I may pass before you. And she said, you can't leave me with the kids. You can't leave me with the kids. And how can I manage with the kids? With the kids? And she said, I can make sure you eat and stay healthy so I can stay fit. So I can be around them. She said, what if she would pass? And I said, I can't live. I can't go on without you. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. And she said, no. You have to stay strong for the kids and you have to move on. Because I want you to move on. And I never understand. I never understand what she meant. Until, until, no. I never actually understand. And I know, because she wants me to be strong. Because she knows how strong I am. She knows. You always tell me that's why. She respects me so much because I'm so strong. I can't, I can't tell you a million and one stories about her and me. I can't tell you. Because everywhere we go, people, people are always annoying us. Different age group, old, young. They say, I want what you guys have. Even the school we went to see the group, oh God, and the principal. And the principal tell us, no, you guys are really special.